Recording in progress. Okay, here we go. Now, again, um, I, I don't think it's necessary to go through all of them, but did anybody have one in particular, Elise? All right, so let's look at this guy right here. So right off the bat, we're gonna mark what it says. QRs, well, it's got it marked for us. So let's just make sure all of these are congruent, correct? So now what we have is, uh, let's just mark the given. Okay, now I think it's important to kind of highlight what we're trying to prove is true. So what I want to do is I want to highlight, uh, or I can just mark it in red. I'm trying to prove that QT is congruent to WU. Is everybody with me on that? Everybody good? So I think before we start doing work, we should probably try to figure out how we're going to do that. All right, can anybody tell me, um, well, whenever they're asking about a side, we should say that at some point we're going to do what? CPCTC, right? So in my opinion, we wanna to try to figure out what triangles are congruent. All right, we wanna to try to figure out what triangles are congruent. Anybody wanna give it a shot? What are you thinking, Harrison? Well, I, I, I'm, I'm agreeing with you, but the first thing you wanna do is you wanna tell me what two triangles are congruent. That, that's, this is what I'm trying to show you, how my brain would operate to try to solve this problem, right? We wanna solve parts of a triangle are congruent, correct? Yeah. So I think it would be ideal for you to try to tell me what triangles are congruent. And what do we want to try to say is congruent? What do you think, Aiden? S, R, W, and V, R, Q. S, R, W, and V, R, Q. Wow. So how is that going to help me? Because U, W, and I'm not saying you're wrong, right? You're actually right. But how is that helping with those parts? Because U, W is not part of that triangle. Anybody? What are you thinking, James? R U W is congruent to R Q D. R U W is congruent to what? R Q D. I would have said R T Q. Uh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then, so what we're trying to show is this now. We're trying to show that this triangle is congruent to this triangle. And if we do that, then we can say what? The parts are congruent, correct? But I can see an angle, do I agree? Like we could say, automatically say, this angle is congruent to this angle, but I'm not sure that's helpful. But then what side? We need another angle or we need another side? So you have to try to tell me. Um, that side is the side. But I don't, so far I have a side and an angle marked. This is what the problem is. So far I have a side and an angle marked. Chloe. Um, the alternate yeah, but we don't know that they're parallel. It doesn't say they're parallel, does it? No. So you're just saying because the sides are congruent, the lines are parallel? Yes. That's what you're saying? Yeah, Q, R, S, R, Q, R, and W, R. 
Okay. I'm not sure why you think that, but I will try to demonstrate. Can I just rotate this around? Now are they parallel? You see what I'm saying? All right, good thought, but no. Come on, come on, anybody else? So go ahead. Wait, are they corresponding? No, we don't we don't know any angles, right? Except those vertical angles. So I guess what I'm trying to show you is this. I, I guess I'm trying to show you how what Aiden said was true. We can prove different triangles are congruent. All right, we can prove different triangles are congruent. That's why this one's hard. So I really would like everyone to kind of listen. What two triangles are congruent first? RQV, why is that? Yes, but do we have the right angle yet? No. No, so what do you want to say now? Hold on a second now. Everybody's going to write that down. Number two, angle what? Angle QRZ is congruent to SRW. And why is that? Yeah, vertical angle theorem. All right. Now, here is the tricky part. All right. Now, the triangles are congruent. All right. So what triangles are congruent? Q R V is congruent to what? What if I told you it would be better to say it as triangle W R S? Now, why did I label it like that? Come on, guys. Why did I label it like that? W congruent to Q. Now W be congru congruent to Q. That's exactly correct. Now that's that's why that was hard. So look, I'm not expecting you to know how to do it. I'm expecting you to go, wow, okay, uh, that makes sense now. If you're saying, what is the guy doing? We can talk about it. All right, what? So on the angle, could you say QRV, angle QRV is congruent to angle S? WRS. Yeah, that's what we did. Yeah, those are interchangeable, right? But look, if I label it this way, look, this is the important part. If I say VQR is congruent to WSR, then S would correspond to what? S would correspond to Q. I don't want S to correspond to Q. I want Q to correspond to what? So I rewrote the triangle a different order. Do you agree with me on that? All right, so that was the important parts. Very, very good. So now I know that, why is that congruent? Side angle side, very nice, very nice. All right, so now that I have that, uh, we'll go back to what someone said about the other vertical angles. What other vertical angle was there? QRT, thank you. Come on, I want people to speak up. All right, I don't want the same people telling me. All right, I want everyone saying something. All right, the other vertical angle now was angle what? QRT is congruent to angle WRU. Thank you. And that again is what? Vertical angle theorem. So now I have this angle right here uh, congruent to this angle. All right, so now I have an angle and a side. So now what do I know is true? I basically already told you, but if you weren't listening, then you don't know. Tell me, what was it? No, 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 no. 
Nope, not yet. Come on, Nate, what? Remember, the goal is to get this triangle congruent to this triangle. Tell us. Why is that? No, I don't say because of the triangles. There's a name for that. Say it again. So what is that called? Angle Q is congruent to angle W. Why is that? What's that? No, say it. Yes, come on guys, C, P, C, T, C. Corresponding what? Parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. That was hard, all right? Now we're still not done because now what is true? Thank you so much. Hold up. Let's see if you're right. Triangle what? Q R T is congruent to triangle W R U because why? Don't tell him. I forgot to mark it, by the way. This. Angle side angle. Yes, sir. Angle side angle. You are brilliant. And now what can we say? Um, line PC is congruent to line W. Yeah, but it's not a line, even though I know what you meant. Segment, right? Oh, yeah. Segment QT is congruent to segment W U. And that's what? Yay, CPCTC. Now, again, I, I, you know, I'm not expecting you to do that. Right? I'm expecting you now to go, okay, I can see that. Right? That was very hard. Very hard. All right? Because the importance of how you label the triangle was important. All right? Yes. Can you explain how you know that triangle QRD? QR. Is the, the, how numbers are inside angle five? Tell, tell me, tell me again. I'm uh, sorry. Can you explain to me how number three is side angle five? Yeah, yes, I can. Look, kiddo. Now, right. So again, I, I'm thankful that you said that because a lot of times it's just visual, right? So I want you to see this triangle right here is congruent to this triangle right here. By what? By what? Come on now. Are you just saying that because that's what I said? Or do you see side angle side? Yeah. All right. That's why I say highlighting sometimes is important. And that was kind of annoying. That's why I kind of like letting you use the iPad because I think it's easier to write and draw. And even if you have to duplicate and move it, it's it's very helpful from my experience. So that's why I don't mind. How do you know that in it says R is congruent to R? I didn't, where does it say R is congruent? Like, like four. Because they're vertical angles. Highlight QRT and highlight WRU. Are those vertical angles? Yeah. And the same thing with the other one. Highlight them and you will see them. Again, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, I, I don't look at these and say, oh, that's the answer. Every time I'm thinking about it. All right. Every time. All right. That's what I'm expecting you to do. All right. So you should highlight number 20. All right. Keep that in your notes and say review before the test. All right. So James, I'll try. Here we go. Yeah, I'm actually happy with 19. And the reason why I say I'm happy with 19 is because these triangles are deceptive because they do what? They overlap. Now in a second, you should see how simple this is. All right. So 
do you agree with me here that angle KPL is congruent to angle MRL? Right, that's what we're trying to prove, right? So then that's probably gonna be what? What statement is gonna go with that? Come on, everybody should be able to tell me now. What statement's gonna go with that? Say it again. Thank you for listening. CPCTC. If you're trying to prove an angle or a side, you're probably going to use what? CPCTC. So your objective is to try to figure out two triangles that are congruent. All right. And once you find the two congruent triangles, then their parts are congruent. That's what you're working on. So <clears throat> where is KPL? And where is MRL? MRL is here. And KPL is here. So what triangles am I going to try to get congruent? Probably. Now, does everybody see, I, I, you can't do the proof. You don't have like a little game plan, right? So if I'm trying to find that angle, to me, I'm, it looks like I'm not, I could be totally wrong, but like uh, Harrison just said, we, if we try to figure out that KPL is congruent to triangle MRL, then we know those angles are congruent. So I agree with that. So, so far I have angle M is congruent to angle K and this is congruent, correct? So now I just need, for example, KP congruent to MR. So everybody agree with that, right? Do you agree? Or one of the other sides. Does everybody agree with me on that? I need one of the sides congruent. All right. So now help me, Lucas. Come on. Tell us. KL to what? Yeah, that we, we know that because it's just uh, vertical, right? We know it's vertical. So that's why we have two angles, right? That was the easy one. Now I'm trying to figure out a side. The question is, what side can I say is congruent? What side is, can I say is congruent? Harrison. Um, and yes, no, M, M, P, and K, P. No, M, what? M, what? M, R, and K, P. Yes, that's true. Those are congruent. How do I know that? Um, that's called a game plan. This is called a game plan right now. How do I know that, Michaela? Um, Just because things are perpendicular don't make them congruent. Tell us. Right angles don't have to have congruent sides. What? So I, I don't know like a formal term for it, but if they're both perpendicular to that line and then they also have like the line coming down from it, when all right, let me give you a hint. What other two triangles are congruent? Oh, K what? And? Yay, those are congruent by what? Stop. Angle, angle, side. What side are you talking about? I don't even see a side marked. Yay, guys, come on. Very difficult, very difficult. But you're supposed to say, as soon as you tell me, it's obvious. That's what you're supposed to say, right? You don't have the experience yet, all right? But you're supposed to be getting the experience right now. This is very difficult, very difficult. So look up so I can show you now. Now we've developed a game plan, all right? We've developed a game plan. Now, why was that really difficult to see? 
that was really difficult to see because what is what are the triangles doing to each other? Overlapping. They're overlapping. So watch. I'm going to draw this guy right here. And I'm going to put P, this is R, and this is K. And I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to pull it right here. And then I'm going to come over here, and we're going to draw this triangle. And this is P, R, M. And if you learn to do this, it's so helpful. So now what's true about those two triangles right off the bat? Mm -hmm. what, is con what, what do we know is true? Angle, angle what? K and angle M are congruent. P is congruent to R. And then of course, what Lucas said was what? PR is congruent to itself. So those triangles are congruent by what? Angle, angle, side. Now what's true about M, R, and K, P? What's true about M, R, and K, P? They're congruent. So I can mark this congruent to this. And now I can say this angle is congruent to that angle. So what's true about those smaller triangles now? They're congruent. So now what can I say about these angles? Yay, that's called a game plan, all right? Not very many people can do that. So if you're sitting there saying that's hard, you are correct. You are correct, it is hard, all right? Because it's all what, in my opinion, visual. If you can't see that, that's just hard, all right? I, I, trust me, I understand what you're saying. But you are not going to get better if you just sit there and write everything that I'm doing down. You got to look at it. All right. You got to look at it. So let's do that again. All right. Let's do it again. Now your job is we got to do the proof, right? So we've made the game plan. We should know the proof now. Since, since P M is like coming or P L is coming through the right angle, how do we know it's like that and R? How do you know P L and R L they come to the same angle? This is not necessary. We just proved those triangles are congruent. So if I prove those two triangles are congruent, then those two angles are congruent. Okay. That's why it's deceptive. Exactly right. All right. You have to see that. And I can't show you that. Right. You got to try that. All right. So come on now. Let's get to writing. All right. This is super annoying. All right. So here we go. So obviously I'm just gonna grab all this given stuff, copy it, paste it. All right, now, listen, if you are a little unsure, all right, I would like to hear from you. That's what I would like, all right? Don't sit here and write everything down. It's not helping, all right? The next test is gonna be hard, all right? Because it's all proofs, all right? So here we go. Help me. Step number two. What did we say? So we have them separated now, correct? So we need to now say these two triangles are congruent. All right. I need help with that. That's our first objective is to prove those triangles are congruent. Go ahead. Did you say uh, P or intermar P the perpendicular? So what? So aren't perpendicular lines congruent? No, perpendicular lines are congruent. Oh, no, per perpendicular. perpendicular lines form what? And then those right angles are? Yay, there you go. All right, so you can say, in my opinion, you can say uh, KPR angle KPR and MRP angle MRP 
are what? Right angles. And that's the definition of perpendicular, right? Definition of perpendicular again just says perpendicular lines form four right angles, correct? Perpendicular lines form four right angles. Now, again, I kind of think this is silly, but this is just what they want. So if they form right angles, that means they are, they are congruent. All right, now, if you want, you can say they equal 90 degrees. And then once you say they equal 90 degrees, you can say they are what? Congruent, but I just went ahead and shortened that. I don't feel like writing all that out. All right, if they are right angles, they are what? Congruent. So now we can come down here and say, uh, angle KPR is congruent to angle M R P. And I just put all right angles are congruent. Okay. So now that was beneficial because why? But how do I do that? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I haven't said the triangles are congruent yet. I'm sorry. Yeah, we haven't said that. I'm way ahead of myself. So tell me again, Lexi. PR is congruent to PR. Yes, PR is congruent to PR. And that is what? Reflexive. <coughs> Beautiful. And now, now we know that what? The triangles are what? Yes, now we can say triangle KPR is congruent to what triangle? MR what? MRP. And that's angle, angle, side. Very nice. All right, angle, angle, side. All right, now again, I, I hope this is starting to come together because I've said it twice now. All right, so now we needed that information to say what is true. Yes, thank you guys. Come on now. KP is congruent to what? MR, and we would say CPCTC. Beautiful. All right. So now, what's the next game plan? What do I need now? Who remembers? Tell me. Um, angle yes, good job. Angle KLP is congruent to angle what? MLR, why is that? VAT, thank you. Okie doke. So now what can I say is true? Come on, Aiden, get involved. Kind of happy with you today. Come on, Olivia, help him out. Uh, uh how do I spell that? Maybe. Like duh, right? No. What? Oh, triangle KLP is congruent to triangle MLR. Triangle KLP is congruent to triangle what? MRL. MRL. Way to jump in there. So what is that? Angle, angle, side. Angle, angle, side. So now what? Angle. Angle what? Angle. And that's why. Wow, guys. That was kind of hard. It was nine. Wait till you get to one that's 20. They're easy. Trust me. I looked at the triangle and saw it was angle, angle, side. That's the best I can tell you. Right? This triangle and this triangle. Angle, angle, side. Angle, angle, side. Angle, angle, side. 
I didn't. Oh. I proved the vertical angles, and they have given, and we have a side. Oh, because it's the main line. Okay. All right, that was that was good, guys. That that was hard. All right. So follow along. I, I understand completely. All right. I understand. All right. But you have to try. Right. You just can't let me read it out to you. And you're like filling it in and like, wow, he's good at this. All right. You have to try. You have to follow along. All right. If I'm asking you to see something, you can't see it. That's why I separated these. I can't look at that and tell you how to do that proof. I had to think about it and separate things. All right. Learn to break it down. Much easier. All right, tell me. Well, why don't I just do them all? All right. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at 18 now. All right. So I want you to try to remember as soon as somebody says parallel lines, we can look at what? Alternate interior angles. Yes, corresponding angles, possibly, but generally it's what? Alternate interior angles. That's what you need. If you're not sure, all right. Make yourself a note, alternate interior angles as soon as they say parallel lines. That'll help you. All right. So here we go. Uh, given. Now, also, what is shared between the triangles? GH. So that's already a side. And I already have an angle. So it looks like to me, probably either angle, angle, side or angle, side, angle. That's probably the case. All right, so here we go. Let's nail down the given. Now, the reason why I don't think this one is as difficult because I don't see anything that overlaps. Is everybody with me on that? All right, so here we go. Number one, number one, given. All right, now. All right, so I'm trying to prove FH is congruent to JG. All right, come on now. Someone who hasn't said anything, no one else, if you've said something, you're not allowed to talk. All right, Nate, good. Angle F, J, I mean, F, H, G is congruent to J, G, H. Yeah, it's good to know the alphabet, isn't it? Yeah. All right, so here we go. We got this angle here congruent to this angle. So far, that's nice, Nate. Tell me that again. Number two, angle FHG F is congruent F to JGH. And why is that? Come on, seriously, those are not vertical angles. What are they? Come on, man, that was a big blunder. Alternate interior angles are what? Congruent. That is true. Those are alternate interior angles. All right. Now, what else, Nate? Um, it's not an answer. Come on, spit it out. I need a side because I have two angles. This is what you have to understand. I have two angles, correct? So you can't prove it with angle, angle, angle. So you got to find a side that's congruent. What side is congruent? Shh. There you go. Now you're talking. GH is congruent to GH. Why is that? Reflexive. All right, so here we go. So now what? Um, no, um is not correct. Look at the triangles. Are they congruent now? Why? That's what everybody would say, but not you. You would say not angle side angle, but is the side between the two angles. 
Is the side between the two angles? No. No, you said angle, side, angle. I just asked you if the side is between the two angles. You said no, so it can't be angle, side, angle. It must be what? Do you agree with that? Now, I hope everybody just understood what I was trying to teach Nate. Right? It's not angle, side, angle. The side is not between the two angles. Does everybody understand what I mean by that? Right? So we know now it's angle, angle, side. So what triangles are congruent? I'm listening. Triangle F what? is congruent to J G H. What is that? Angle, angle, side. Angle, angle, side. Now what? Now we're in business. All right, that was nice. Can it be done a little bit differently? Yeah, it can be done differently. Wait, so can it, it can't be angle side angle? Can you explain to me how you got, wait, I, can you explain angle angle side angle a little bit? Angle side angle means the side is between the two angles. Is side GH between F and H? No. So it's not angle side angle. You with me? There is an angle F, then an angle H, then comes the what? The, right, the side is after the two angles. That wasn't bad, good for you, tell me. Oh, how do I know corresponding parts? Is that what you're asking me, like the last statement? Okay. So now that's the most critical thing. So listen to me now. I'm trying to prove this. Do you agree? Yes. That's a side. I looked at the triangle. There's no way for me to say FH is congruent to JG. Like it doesn't say bisect or it doesn't say midpoint. You with me? So if it doesn't say bisect or midpoint, then I know it has to be part of congruent triangles. If I can prove the parts, if I can prove the triangles are congruent, then the parts of the triangles are congruent. Does that make sense? So I showed that the two triangles are congruent. Once I established that this triangle here is congruent to this triangle here, I now can say that the parts are congruent. The parts that are congruent that we didn't know were congruent are automatically now congruent. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, everybody happy with that? All right. So somebody said something about 14 and 15. Did it, did everybody, did people, do you got that? Well, those weren't hard now, come on. Okay, those weren't that hard. All right, so now you understand midpoint, right? Look at number 17 for me. So C is the midpoint. Because C is the midpoint, now we know two sides are equal. Does everybody agree with that? All right. So listen, I, I, I see obviously today that was hard. All right. So your job tonight is, look, try 17. And if you're sitting there going, man, that was hard. My brain is overworked and it's difficult for me to see. Then you should go back and revisit 18, 19, and 20 and look them over. You should look them over, right? If you're sitting there going, man, that was too much for me today. All right, look them over. All right, cover it up and try it again. Cover it up, try it again. All right, and as much as you love to hear my voice scream, right? If you didn't understand, go back and listen again. All right, sometimes hearing it screamed at you a second time is more effective. All right, right, Elise? Yeah. Yes. All right. So with that being said, I appreciate all the likes. All right. And all the shares. All right.